Andrew Dye here at the site of a Unity Varm style project in downtown Hanover, New Hampshire. This is a project that we've been following with a series of videos from the assembly of the panels on site through to the completed shell, the mechanical rough-ins, the sheetrock, the finished carpentry, and now to the project just about completed. There are just a few punch list items left. The owners will be starting to move in today and we figured this would be a good time to do a, a final walkthrough by video. This is the front of the house with what's considered to be the main entry door. This porch on the left side is a screen porch. We haven't yet installed the screen panels. And here's the view from the back side of the house and of the utility side. As we've mentioned, that exterior unit, the condensing unit for the mini-split heating and cooling system will be hidden with some landscaping. These vent hoods on the side of the house are for the ventilation system, so there's an intake and an exhaust. And the third hood is the cold air exhaust from the heat pump water heater that's providing domestic hot water to the house. Let's take a look inside. Okay, we're entering into the connector space here between the house and the garage. The connector houses this half bathroom here. It also houses this laundry space. The laundry area is separated from the entry hallway via a pocket door. And here's where the washer and dryer are gonna go. We've seen this area at various stages of construction with the preform penetration through the wall for the dryer vent there at the lower right. And you know if you've watched the previous videos that there's all kinds of pipes and wires behind this half wall and up in the ceiling. And there's the access to the little attic space above the connector, access that's required by code. All right, we'll go from the connector into the main part of the home, the main living area of the home. So this door here on the left is actually considered the main entry door, or the, the formal entry door. Outside is that farmer's porch that runs across the end of the house. Here's the kitchen. Nicely framed by these timbers that are characteristic of the Varm style home. Here in the ceiling, we've got that ceiling cassette for the mini split heating system, so that's providing heating and cooling. Some nice antique touches here. The island, an antique that was repurposed. Nice open shelving, antique boards. You can see there are a few punch list items left to do, such as enclosing that vent for the range hood. The range itself hasn't yet been installed. The owners are supplying the appliances, and appliances in general have been difficult to obtain since the pandemic started. There's a long lead time on this particular range that's going to slide into this counter space. So the kitchen area flows into the dining area. There will be a dining table under these three hanging lights. And then the living area beyond. You can see the owners have started to move in some furniture already. I like the way these darker timbers kind of are offset by the white walls and the white trim. So this opening here with the two pocket doors leads to a home office space. Quick look inside this office. And off this office space is the mechanical room. So straight ahead we've got the heat recovery ventilator that's providing continuous fresh air to the house and exhausting stale humid air. Got the main electric panel here. And 
And behind the door, you've got the heat pump water heater. So this style of water heater is very efficient. It uses the same technology as the mini split heating system, basically pulling heat from the air around it to generate hot water. And then exhausting the cold air outside the house. You'll note the sealed concrete floors here in the house. It's a common floor finish in Unity Homes. Very economical, very low maintenance. And they always turn out different, so it can be a little bit hard to predict how it's actually gonna look, but they always look interesting and often quite beautiful. Uh, the yellow cap is for a floor outlet that's been positioned based on where the furniture is going to go in this space. So on to the family guest space. Here we have a wall unit for heating and cooling the space. There's a generous walk-in closet to the left and a bathroom to the right. There's that closet. And the shower that we showed being tiled in a previous video. Another use of an antique piece of furniture as the vanity. And there will be a medicine cabinet here that hasn't yet been installed. All right, let's head upstairs. This hallway closet here serves the entries really from both sides, the connector door and the more formal entry door. Maple stairs and railing. Clear finished, again, kind of offset by the white trim. Here's the second floor hallway, again very characteristic of our farm style homes. Got this half wall that separates the stairwell from the bedroom hallway. There's a bathroom at each end of this hallway and bedrooms off the side of the hallway. some floor plans there will be a laundry area at one end of this hallway and the medicine cabinet and mirror are not yet installed but all the fixtures are in the bathroom is functional Got an alcove here for laundry shelves that will be installed the first bedroom. Each bedroom has a nice closet. The second bedroom, the middle bedroom. These round vents above the bedroom closets are providing fresh air to the bedrooms. 
and that narrow vent above the door is connected to a transfer fan and that helps to ensure that the bedrooms are receiving the heating and cooling that they need. This window, like all the windows, is trimmed with a sheetrock chamfer bead and this happens to be the window that we showed being trimmed in a previous video. Here you can see it with a painted wood sill and apron installed to finish off the bottom of the window. Here at the end of the hallway, we've got another ceiling register, like the one downstairs in the kitchen that's providing warm air or cool air, depending on the season, to the second floor. We have a, a generous closet here in the hallway. Another bathroom, another tile shower, antique vanity. A white subway tile offset with a dark grout. Kind of this interesting pebble style tile on the floor. The flooring in the bathroom looks like marble, but it's actually a marmoleum product, click together flooring that's rated for use in bathrooms. Both bathrooms here at the ends of the hallway are separated from the hallway via pocket doors. You see here on the wall next to the door, the control for the heating and cooling on the second floor and the control for the ventilation system. This is an override switch that uh, will boost the exhaust ventilation from the bathroom for 20, 40, or 60 minutes. And there's the exhaust duct for the bathroom. And here's the third bedroom. We saw this door being trimmed in a previous video. Got the closet, the ventilation above, and another duct from the transfer fan above the door. This white flooring is kind of an interesting touch with all the white trim and the white walls. Makes for a very light, clean appearance here inside the house. And it also means that the splashes of color from the tile and from the natural wood really tend to pop. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of a nearly complete Varm style Unity Home in Hanover, New Hampshire.